Welcome everybody to today's YouTube video. We are live on location, so forgive me if it's a little noisy, if there's people in the background walking by. I'm gonna do my best to try to ignore all that. Might hear some airplanes, maybe people cutting grass. I don't know, we'll see. Um, this is already like my third take, I'm not gonna lie. But hey, that's part of the, the process of making these videos for you guys. Um, by now, you guys probably have all watched everybody other, you know, big YouTuber videos on the Nike Legend 10 Tiempo Elite. And I have it here in my hands. And I just want to tell you guys my opinion on what I think. Um, because the big controversy is that there is no more kangaroo leather. Um, and everybody's going crazy about that and saying it's not a Tiempo. Um, but if you remember, the, I think the Legend 3, I wasn't that much into boots back then because I just couldn't afford them. Um, they say that that was a synthetic and it's a, considered a really good boot. So in my opinion, I think this will be great. I think synthetics, I think people can kind of um, manipulate it, I guess, and do what it wants to by making a synthetic. And I feel Nike has gone that way. Uh, if you look at materials, they've changed a lot. They've changed so much and people don't have a problem with that. So I feel like you should give it a chance, give it a shot. Um, what's different from the nine other than the kangaroo leather, they took out the foam pods, which I think was probably better. You get, uh, so you can feel the ball a little bit better. And then this, this whole synthetic leather, or they're calling it a synthetic leather, um, it's called F Fly Touch Plus, and it's an engineered leather, and you can see it has these little grip pods, I guess you can call it here, a little bit of texturing here. I don't really know if that stuff really helps um, grip the ball any better than just wearing a normal boot. Uh, but yeah, probably not gonna get on the field. It's a little hot. Uh, there's a lot of people here, like I said. Um, but I will maybe try them on a little bit and give my opinion on how they feel on my feet in a little bit. But yeah, I just wanna let you guys know that I feel I feel this is still gonna be a good boot. Nike did just release, give us again, the CTR 360. I was not able to grab those. I, I snoozed. I could've got them with my discount and I didn't because I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> anyway, so they gave us those and then they released these. I think that is for a reason. Um, obviously to remind us that we like synthetic boots and they can be just as good as anything else. Of course, um, I don't know about the Copa Mundial, but most people don't like that boot because it's so heavy. Um, but I think Mizuno still is gonna be making kangaroo leather boots. But I feel, from reviews that I've seen, I think they're giving less and less kangaroo leather as well. So now you're maybe only getting like the toe box and not necessarily getting a full on boot. Um, for me, when I play in the Mizuno uh, Morelia made in Japan, that boot is none spectacular to me. I don't feel the lockdown that I would in another boot. Maybe I'm used to like Mercurios or something else, but I really don't feel that lockdown sensation. And to be honest, I really don't see a much difference from a Adidas Copa Mundial to a Mizuno made in Japan, other than maybe softer leather and lighter. But I mean, I still enjoy playing in the Copa Mundial just as much as that made in Japan. So there's definitely options still that you can find if you're still looking for kangaroo leather. But I'm telling you, don't sleep on this. Um, I think, you know, it's a little less tempo, but still tempo, if that makes sense. Um, so you're going to have, you know, some lockdown. It's not going to overstretch, which is this, the thing that Nike has given us is what people complain about with um, kangaroo leather boots, that they stretch, that they're heavy. So now you have like probably the lightest tempo. I haven't got to weigh them. Um, and you're getting something that's going to keep its shape, probably not separate so easy from like previous models hopefully um and yeah like i said the synthetic allows them to create something and it's going to do exactly what they it's designed to do and and it's not gonna overstretch and things of those na of that nature that people actually complain about when playing in a leather boot um so yeah i think definitely you should give it a try i think uh, it'll be nice and yeah i'm gonna try these on and then Hopefully, maybe make another video, but yeah, this is my video right now. Uh, first look at the Nike Temple Legend 10 Elite.